Good morning. <coughs> I haven't spoken yet today. <laughs> so my voice cracked. <coughs> Good morning, guys. How are you? How are we all on this beautiful sunny day? I used a little overnight sleeping mask and my skin is looking brighter. It was this one from Shiseido, the overnight cream and mask. I love something that you can just slap on and go to bed without thinking about it. Can I tell you the major groundbreaking news of the week is that I am going to the dentist <laughs> to fix my tooth that I glued back on, which has stayed. It stayed. It's super glued the whole time. And please don't tell me that super glue in my mouth is toxic. I know I did not have a choice. They couldn't see me for like a week and a half. And it was an impulse decision. It was an impulse. We don't need to talk about it anymore. We don't need to talk about it anymore. Anyway, I'm going to the dentist. Hannah and Estee are coming over for dinner, which I'm so excited about because I'm going to cook for them both. I'm really back in my hosting era. Remember like a month ago, I said like, I'm, I have not been hosting as much as I would like to be. So I'm back in my hosting era. I think I'm cooking for people like once a week in my house, which is so nice and nice to have everyone around and like use the space that I made and built like properly. I'm also gonna go to the antique market. I'm really excited for that because there are just some little like bits and bobs that I always like to see and have around. Looking for a little stool. I really, really want a vintage luggage rack holder for my Louis Vuitton cases. It's one of my favorite markets and I feel like September is always a really good time to shop for antiques. And I'm gonna go and see Gemma and Romy today as well. So let's get ready. My hair is hairing. Like the hair is hairing. This by the way is a really cute little set from Gigi Hadid's brand. I didn't even know it was her brand. I just saw it on Instagram and I liked it. And I know everyone told me it was her brand. First, we're gonna do some skincare. This is new from Shiseido, it's reformulated. It's their Benefios eye cream. It's a wrinkle smoothing eye cream and it really helps eliminate the fine lines. They say you can see results in five days. I love it because my under eyes get really dry and then my concealer creases and it settles in the fine lines and this almost acts like an eye cream and a primer so that my concealer doesn't do that. It's so hydrating and soothing. Then I'm gonna do my little Shiseido Day Serum, which is my absolute favorite. This is the Bi Performance Performance Serum. I just gave this set to my sister as a gift and she is obsessed. Like it's hard, it's honestly hard to get her obsessed with skincare because she has genuinely been using the same skincare for the past maybe like 10 years. So I have to like b literally beg her to use it. And I'm like, you will notice a difference in a week if you use this every day. I was like, you have to use the day and you have to use the night, but do it every day for a week and you will see a difference. And now she's hook. And the great thing about them, by the way, is that they are refillable. I mean, I rave about these to the absolute hills with my hands at serum me now. I don't use my teeth for this anymore. <laughs> teeth are not tools. So yeah, it's literally refillable. So, so easy. I'm going to use this hydrating day cream. It has SPF 20 in it because it is kind of sunny today. I don't know if you can tell. I have just booked to go to New York soon for my cousin's wedding. I left it so last minute. I haven't been to New York in like a year. Last time I was in New York, I had my little NJ. So I have not actually spent that much time in New York recently because then before that we had the pandemic. So if you have any New York recommendations, good new places to eat, things like that, like cool places to go, any vintage stores, let me know. There is somewhere I follow on Instagram called, I think it's Vintage Grace. I'm dying to go. I cannot wait. You have to book appointments. I have been on such a jeans hunt for the perfect pair of jeans. I have really good looking jeans I saw on TikTok in this parcel. So let's look at that after we do our makeups. Let me do my eyes first. Guys, look at my eye before and afters. <laughs> I always like look in the mirror amazed. I'm like, okay, eye makeup actually does a lot. Do I have a launch to tell you about today? Okay, I don't think you're ready for this because this is one of the greatest innovations I think I've seen this year. This is the new Shiseido Revital Essence Skin Glow Foundation. Shiseido for me is one of those brands where they really get makeup and they really get skincare. And when they come out with products like this that are a hybrid of both makeup and skincare, especially for someone like me that wears foundation pretty much every single day. I don't do tinted moisturizers. I don't do just concealer. Like I wear foundation every day. I want something that really keeps my skin hydrated. And if my foundation has added skincare benefits, that is like a complete win for me. It comes in 30 shades. I am shade 340. Oh, my favorite foundation brush is this Clay de Peau one. It's just so incredible. I have three of them on rotation. This is such a buildable foundation. It's definitely one for day to day. It has SPF 30 in it. It's so, so, so light like 
like it's really lightweight like gel texture but it doesn't make you look oily it has fermented kefir and niacinamide in it which are the two sort of main hero ingredients that keep your skin really hydrated it promises 24 hour hydration in the foundation and also 12 hour wear i was just about to do the other side of my face and then i thought you know what let's just do one side so i can actually show you the coverage because I have a lot of redness in my skin. I have blue sort of like veins under my eyes and I just need a lot of counteracting. And you can see how light this is. Like it's so breathable, it literally looks like skin. Bear in mind I have no concealer on right now, but look at my under eyes. Like I have no concealer on yet. This is just from the foundation. The redness around my nose, you can see like all the redness and discoloration around this side where there's no foundation. On this side, it's completely gone. You can see that it gives me a glow. Like can you see the reflection? here and here it's so natural like this could be no foundation I have no blush no bronzer no anything on but this could be my natural skin like it looks so natural it just meshes with the skin so well if I show you my natural skin you can see a lot of like dark spots discoloration kind of redness that peeps through and it completely like I honestly think this is such a natural foundation it's the most skin like foundation I think I've ever tried and it has the skincare benefits it almost feels like a serum on the skin it's lightweight but the coverage is still buildable I'm obsessed with this if you couldn't tell like it's genuinely incredible let's do the other side of my face and by the way I did just say on TikTok that if I lost all my brushes this would be the brush I would repurchase because it's such a good foundation brush like you can see the texture here it is super super lightweight you could definitely apply this with your hands but I've never been I've never been a hand applier I am so so impressed with this okay concealer now that I have concealer on my under eyes you can kind of see like the foundation just lets my skin breathe it feels so light I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my makeup and you're gonna see how well it lasts throughout the day I'll leave a link to the foundation down below if you pass the Shiseido counter you can go and get a color match but online you can kind of see your color as well I'm gonna pat this little lipstick on this is shade 411 just for a little bit of color. Mm, pretty. And use my favorite lip plumping gloss. This is Clay de Peau. This is 302. And it makes your lips look like enormous. Mm, so good. Okay, that is my finished look. I think the foundation will just shine through. It looks great. Maybe put on some earrings. Oh, and try on these jeans. We could do these new misomas, which are really cool. They're like rope hoops. Or these Monica Vinader little battered hoops. These are some of my favorites. They're really old Soru. I don't think they do them anymore, but if I can find any similar, I'll link them below. We need to get dressed for the day, but something incredible just arrived from Carolina Bucci. Now, I have a story to tell you about Carolina Bucci. And me. After my first ever breakup, I actually found out that the guy was cheating on me with someone from his work because I read his phone. <laughs> I don't think I've ever told that story online. <laughs> anyway, I honestly didn't really care as soon as I saw it. I was like, okay, you're a freak. Bye. Anyway, the point was I did some retail therapy right after that. This must have been like 10 years ago. And I went to Carolina Bucci and I brought a bracelet. It was my I don't need a man bracelet. <laughs> I still have that bracelet. It's literally right in that drawer. I wear it all the time. This is so special because this is part of the same collection. So Carolina Bucci always has a special place in my heart. And every time I wear that bracelet, it's like my happy bracelet. Oh, look at the packaging. So in here is, I think, another lucky bracelet. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's blue. Look how stunning these bracelets are. Okay, I need to explain them to you. Maybe I'll put it on this hand. You tie them in a double knot and make a wish. They're like a rope bracelet. Maybe I'll pair it with my other one. They're so beautiful. They're easy to do up on your own because we all know bracelets are kind of hard to do up by yourself. And look, then they have these little bajanglies. This was the one I bought myself all those years ago. It's still in beautiful, beautiful condition. This is the Love Lucky Bracelet. And then when you wear them together, they're like this. Isn't that so cute and special? And you have little bajanglies. I might take this pink string off this stack so I have a little carol bangle and then I have this Bella bracelet which has a little heart on it and then my two little Carolina Bucci's this is really not what I was expecting to wear mid-September but I'm not complaining look I even have like autumn nails still but it's summer so everyone always asks me about this dress it's really old I bought it second hand I'm gonna try and find something similar and link it below let me show you my jewelry first so I have a little stack of three this little Mila necklace I have Andy necklace on and then this 
Monica Vinader like bobble necklace. This is my favorite little dainty stack at the moment. And then I went with these Misoma hoops. Got a couple little things. Look at this little like cool bow and arrow earring. It's called Cupid. This is the full fit, really easy breezy. And got a little Chanel bag as well. I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see. What is it? Oh, what? what is it? What is it? Wait, so should we go hot. outside? I'm okay. closing my eyes. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. Right. I'm with the spiel. Okay, so Pete, wait, Pete has come over with a present for me and I don't know what it is. And she's turn around, I need to see. It's so sad though because it kind of breaks, so I'll get you a new frame. But basically, my, oh my friend God. who used to go to school with me does these illustrations and you have to pick your character. Okay. And I was so close to picking Darren Old Buttons, but it had to be like a pair of you and me, like yeah. doing stuff together. What is it? So. <laughs> Oh, oh my God, I'm dying. No, I'm not, okay. Oh my God, Yuki, you're here. Oh my gosh, wait, I need to bring this closer to you. Have to be. Oh my God, so like, the coffee and the Kelly. I love your bag, I, mean, I die, and the I camera, and your shoes. You're literally wearing these shoes right now. My little sandals. <laughs> Pia, do you get Amelia? I'm gonna cry, this Isn't is so, so cute. Like, oh my God, I need to put it up right just, now. Like, classic ice latte, so. <laughs> I, I need to put this up right now. This is actually <laughs> the best thing of all time. I'm actually obsessed. I'm not okay. This is actually. Um, oh my god! You've even got headphones on. I didn't my see them. Your headphones. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is so cute. It's so where fun. I isn't it? Where should I put it? How cute is this? Okay, where should we put her? This is literally the best present it. ever. What about here? Oh my god, we found the perfect place already. It looks so good here. Wait, I love it. I love it so much. That looks so good. I love it. Thank you. This is literally amazing. I'm obsessed. I love how it's little Starbucks. Okay, we are back in the car and I actually have one photo to show you of Romy, which I'm going to put in here. Basically, motherhood is way harder than it looks. If you are a mum blog, I salute you because I don't know how you do everything at once. Guys, oh my god, I totally forgot to tell you something. I did something for the first time in my wannabe mum life. I fed a baby. I actually fed Romy and I was freaking out because I kind of thought she was like choking on the bottle. <laughs> She wasn't and it was just such a weird experience like seeing her eat up close like from a bottle I don't know why I've just never done that before and I did it for the first time and Romy was sick on me for the first time No baby's ever been sick on me before I'm like Venturing in to the world. honestly, I don't know how you guys know I am good at bringing you along with me to things But I don't know how you mums do it. I really don't like if you need if you need more than two hands You need like 15 hands and we had four hands between like me and Gemma and that still wasn't enough hands. And I don't know, Romy's so cute and so easy. And even when she was like sleeping, I don't know, you still, I, the time just, the time just goes. I was just changing. So I can't put the camera down any lower than this because I'm naked. However, I just hit 300K on TikTok. Okay, I have clothes now on. That's <laughs> not a sentence. I'm so happy. I know this is like so stupid, but. I love that app. Like TikTok is my favorite app of all time, I think. I feel like I'm the most myself on that app. And the fact that people love what I put out on TikTok means so much to me. I started taking TikTok like probably seriously a year ago. And it genuinely is my absolute favorite app. Like I spend so much time on that app. <laughs> literally be illegal how much time I spend on that app. Anyway, I'm so happy. I'm gonna do a giveaway. Did I already say that? I'm gonna do a giveaway on TikTok. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do one on TikTok, so it might have to be on Instagram. I don't know, I need to look into it, but I'm thinking some sort of jewelry piece, like a Van Cleef thing that I wear a lot, or I basically put up a story on TikTok today saying like, what should I do a giveaway for 300K? Cause I haven't done a giveaway in such a long time as well. Okay, I'm making lunch. I do not have time to make it to the market today. Which is so annoying because now I have to wait a whole other month. But I had some other stuff to do. And I'm having a stay in Hannah over for dinner tonight. So I need to like set the table and marinate my chickens and all that kind of stuff. In an hour I'm going to go meet my mum. Then I have a Renee Cavoli appointment because I'm going to their rent tomorrow. And I don't know, I kind of am hoping, thinking, wondering. Is they going to give me a pair of shoes for the event? Because I think that's what the appointment's for. Which would be amazing because Renee Cavoli are literally my favourite shoes ever. And I have five pairs. I bought myself now of their shoes so to work with them is really cool oh fixing my tooth i'm going to fix my tooth which has been super glued on now for a week and two days just let that sink in i 
I am on my way to go meet my mom now. It's a little bit later. I'll show you my outfit the day later. I'm not naked again, even though it looks like it. <laughs> my mom just goes, oh no, my eye is red. I'm not joking. It's literally like the tiniest bit of red. She goes, I'm falling apart. <laughs> Only red. you. That's your version of falling apart. No, because I've got a, a swollen toe as well. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm dying that that's your version of falling apart. That is so funny. Oh, no. What lip gloss are you using? Oh, clear. Oh. oh my god, I'm so happy that you like it. What shade is this? This is, I'm blind, 206. I it's love really nice. it. You gave it to me. Yay, I'm so Cute. glad you like it. You're welcome. We are going to fix the little tooth now. And I am trying to figure out in the next 10 seconds by the time I get to my dentist how I tell this professional man that I have super glued my tooth act together. Not even that, that it has lasted a week and a half and he has to remove said tooth with said super glue. <laughs> I d what am I gonna say? Sorry, my nose is running. I think from stress. I'm not actually joking. I think I just have to be honest. I wonder if he's had anything like this in his career. I'll have to ask him and find out. Let's just practice, okay? I have super glued my tooth. This, I'm so embarrassed. I am so embarrassed. He is gonna think I'm a complete freak. He doesn't watch my videos. I really hope he doesn't already know that I've super glued my tooth back on. Oh no, I am not in a good mood with myself now. Well, we just got out of the dentist. I just did a little video for TikTok and YouTube shots and I was at the dentist, let's redo my lipstick. It's super glued on so tight that they couldn't remove it. They couldn't remove it. And I have to wait till it falls off because they don't want to like, he, I don't know what word he used. I can't remember, it was like, oh, it was cut cut it off so he could cut off my tooth or we just wait for it to fall off because it's only like half the tooth that's glued on and he was like well to be fair that is really good glue oh, anyway let's go to renee now Ooh, do we go into chanel afterwards these are my absolute dream like i think these are just so amazing and stunning with the butterflies on them i am currently trying on black ones which i think are great because i don't actually have black cleos in my collection this is bordeaux which is beautiful I'm so happy i got a pedicure yesterday and this is like an emerald which is even better trying these little velvet babies too goes with everything oh i love the black the burgundy are incredible okay so Oh my god. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's raining. Um, it was sunny literally half an hour ago. What the hell? Ah, guys, my first pair of Renee's. I am gonna go home and get cooking and setting up for Hannah and I say I think I'm gonna quickly go into Chanel. The update is I resisted Chanel because we got half a tooth and some Renee's and I think that is that's time for me to go home. That is my cue to go and see my dog. <laughs> I don't know how that adds up but that is girl math. It just makes no sense. I'm home. I have changed. I think we're gonna unbox my new shoes after dinner. I wonder what you think what shoe color I decided to go for. Okay, let's get going because Estate and Hannah are gonna come over soon and we got to get this house in order. Dog is panting at me to eat, so we gotta do that too. Oh, here we go. Bark if you're starving. Bark if I never feed you. Bark if you've been so long since breakfast. Good boy, go. Yes, my dog has a Goyard dog ball. No, I did not buy it. It was from his uncle Guy. <laughs> Just waiting for Estee and Hannah to come around. We got the rice is ricing. Salad is salading. Chicken is chickening. Broccoli is broccoli. Oh, here's Estee. Dinner is served. Look at my little queens. I just said I have to wait till the tooth falls off. I should have said, I know as soon as I get home, it's gonna fall off. <laughs> <laughs> and I swallowed it, cause I was eating. Uh, and I have two events tomorrow. No. Just cause you're getting married, it's not the time to try something that you haven't been doing. Should I get extensions? Like, properly <laughs> long. Is <laughs> anyone listening to it? <laughs> By the way, that is really what it's like me for the day I'm screaming. I literally just spit out my teeth. Now it's not the time to have long hair, so should I get extensions? I just mean because 
because then it will really be full and long. But then we can it know. Is full. Right, my lovers, it's time for a little midnight unboxing. It is literally midnight. It's 11:30, but I couldn't wait to try my new shoes. As you know, the Renee Clio heels are some of my absolute favorite heels. Sorry if you can't pay attention to me that much because there's two. I'm not gonna lie to you, they are not the most comfortable of shoes, but they're not uncomfortable either. If they're uncomfortable, I wouldn't wear them and I wear them all the time. But comfort is not the number one thing you're getting with the shoe, if that makes sense. You are getting beauty, elegance, grace, sparkle, happiness and security actually. These keep my feet so secure that I can dance in them all night and I wear them to weddings and things like that. So the color I ended up getting was dun, 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 black. Did you expect me to get black? I was not expecting to go in there getting black. I thought I was gonna get orange and then I thought definitely another color. I've never tried on the black before. I've never actually wanted the black before. Something about them was just shouting my name. Look at the sparkles on them. These are truly a shoe like no other shoe. They make your legs look longer. They make your feet look so sexy. I'm gonna link them down below. I'll show you the Renee's that I have. We'll do a little mini Renee collection. Look how incredible they are. Stay there, cause we're gonna do a little mini Renee. Oh dear, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Eight. I have eight pairs of Renee Carolia shoes, all of which I have bought. This is my first gifted pair of Renee Carolia. And I'm so glad to be working with them because I'm literally the world's biggest fan. This is actually probably my favorite pair. They're almost like a Bulgari watch strap. They have that like snake chain vibe. In terms of colors, I have yellow, which are really cool. And I also have pink, which is really cool. I love the pop of color. These were my first ever pair. And actually the guy I was dating at the time was coming to the south of France and I asked him to bring them in his hand luggage in the box and they took up half his hand luggage. I can't believe I did that. I was so desperate for the shoes. And anytime I bump into him, he always reminds me that I literally took up half his hand luggage and <laughs> shoes. That's the kind of girlfriend I am. These are them. They don't make this style anymore. These are like the flat style and now they're a bit more rounded, but I love the pastel. These are probably my most worn actually. And then I have the little medium heel, the little tiny heel. These are great for like day-to-day -day holiday vibes and they're the nude color. In terms of flats, my mum bought me these for my birthday. They were on my birthday wish list maybe like three years ago. And they're the pearl flats. Like they are battered and worn and they've probably seen better days but I just love them so much. Um, and then these are so comfortable and so well loved and worn. These are the other little flats from Renee that I have that are so sparkly and pretty. They're literally just like a tea bar flat. But that's like a mini Renee collection <laughs> that I've got going on in here. Shall we go to bed now? Because that was truly magical. I'm so happy with these. I can't wait to wear them tomorrow to their event. So it's 50 year of the Renee Clio shoe this week. That's what I'm going to go and celebrate tomorrow. 50 years of this beautiful shoe. Okay, let's get ready for bed. By the way, this little top is a little lily silk. It's like a cashmere crop top. I will leave it linked down below because it's one of my favorites every year. It's just really easy and I like my little cashmere top. I cannot believe that today was the day I hit 300k on TikTok. That's such a milestone especially because can i just say one thing it is known to be a gen z app and breaking into like a new market as it were or like a new app especially when i've been on youtube for like 10 years on instagram since like as long as instagram has existed literally doing something completely new it is not for everyone it's not for the faint-hearted probably like many of you during the pandemic i became obsessed with tiktok and then i just decided i hated it and i didn't like it and then about a year ago i just started becoming addicted to it i think i finally found people i actually wanted to follow on that app and that really helped me fall in love with it because it was a whole other world of content that i could enjoy i know that so many of you have actually said you've downloaded the app for me like i get so many messages like that because of how much i talk about it and how much i love it and how much i say like oh i'm doing this on tiktok we're doing that on tiktok which makes me so happy because even my sister for example like she didn't like it and she wasn't being served like the right things on her for you page that for her and i just said power through because the more TikTok gets to know you, the more you'll get served videos you like. For me, I've just put out TikToks that I personally find funny or I personally enjoy or updates or 
hauls or whatever you you've probably seen what kind of tiktoks i'm posting so many people are like going over to that platform or discovering me there or whatever it might be it makes me so happy because i'm not out here with a plan like i'm out here just enjoying the vibes i've never personally paid too much attention to numbers because i don't know maybe i'm just not a numbers girl <laughs> maths is like not my thing so i don't know if you've noticed but i rarely talk about like numbers and figures of like my channels and things like that but i think because tiktok for me was just something fun that i really enjoyed it's so nice to see that other people enjoy my videos too god this waterproof mascara is really waterproofing little plate of lotion i'm gonna do the little sleep mask i mentioned to you the other day this is the shiseido overnight cream and mask so it's literally clear you can see and it feels oh it feels so good and the little shiseido eye cream i always by the way take my eye cream on my smile lines oh i feel like a new woman thank you so much for all the love i will see you next week sunday at 9 30 a.m with another vlog Mwah. bye guys